Okay. Hey. Oh, you're looking fancy. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Gina. And we coming in and we're going to do a review on the infamous Maybelline Superstay. So, we're going to see what it can do for us. It's a 24-hour long wearing foundation and I have color 356 so as you can see I have a plain canvas no brows are done no primer no moisturizer nothing so let's go ahead and get those things done really quick this part of the video I'm gonna go ahead and speed up super fast I got saying super fast from my grandson. He is so cute. He's upstairs right now. And I have to let you guys know, I absolutely love this. Let me see if I can tell you what it is properly. I know it's BWC and it's a facial moisturizer. It has vitamin C in it. I did speak about this on my channel before. I've since incorporated Nivea and I wanted to just try the little one just to see um, if I was gonna like it or not this was a suggestion from my baby girl uh, Savannah so I do like this a lot let's use this primer uh, cover FX I'm going to review this as well. This is the Maybelline um, Age Rewind. And this has been out for a couple years now, so it's not anything that's new. They've just added some more colors to their line, which is always awesome. So I believe that the makeup companies are now starting to you know, get the message that uh, <laughs> the black dollar is powerful too, okay? So, let's go ahead and get my brows done. I haven't did this in a while on my channel. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this while on camera. Hold on guys, cause I really feel like this, these lights are gonna wash me out. Hold on. All right, I'm good. It, it, looks, it looks good, so we'll see, hopefully. Cause this is supposed to be a first impression for everything, okay? You can't have a first impression if you gotta do it over. Okay guys, so I'm done with the eyes, uh, pretty much. Uh, let's do one more thing. All right, now we can go in with the makeup. <laughs> it has a pump, and I'm going to... That was three pumps. I'm going six pumps in. Let's see 
is that my color, y'all? It's a little bit on the red side, but we'll see if it works anyway. The coverage is good. Really good. There's a nice fresh fragrance, if that makes sense. It's like a, a springy, like you just wash your clothes or something kind of smell. I don't know, but it's not over. It's not overwhelming where you're like you don't want to use it. And that covered everything. This is how much I have left on my hand. So we're gonna go ahead and get that too. And put it somewhere. All right, she is done. And I'm just going to go in with my concealer. So we wanna see how that's gonna hold up too. Going to come up sooner or later. There it is. All right. I like how that feels. The applicator, instead of swiping, I like the idea of being able to just pounce it on your face. Yes, I like that. And it's gonna make for easier blending too. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. It's a little tingly feeling. The coverage is really nice. It blends out really well. Yeah, that's really nice. All right. So let's go ahead and get that set. Uh, Take this brush. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna let that sit just for a little while while I go in and contour. I normally don't do this uh, for work, but since I highlight it, I have to. Bring some color back. <laughs> now, go in with the powder. I originally was not going to use the powder today. Because I wanted to see how it was going to wear on its own. But we done went in already with the other stuff, so we gotta finish it. No lashes today. I'm not changing my mind about that. Ba bam! We done. <laughs> All right, so guys. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I gotta get the baby dressed. I will be back 10 and a half hours from now. So it's 9.30 right now. So I will be back in here sometime tonight, okay? In the meantime, and in between time, you, 
already know what to do. Stay fancy. Be back. Hey girl, hey, what's up? I'm back. So it is now 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock on the dot. I don't have my phone down here with me. So you're just gonna have to take my word for that. So I think I finished up my face at 9.30 if I'm not mistaken. And I have to tell you straight off the bat, I. It felt like I didn't have makeup on and for the first time I actually felt pretty today like I felt like my skin was telling me thank you girl I'm so glad that you put this makeup on me today okay and yes the, the concealer everything was was awesome Okay, so let's take a look. I, I'm going to put some pictures in somewhere and a video in somewhere just so you can see my face and my skin in natural daylight. So let me just come up close so you can take a gander at what's going on here, okay? All right, so if you can see, cause you know, I'm gonna need to look at the playback so I can really see what's going on. But I have a little, I have some wrinkles. I mean, I'm on the mature side, so I have some wrinkles. Um, but that's what we looking like. This area here, is uh, where I have my larger pores. So we're gonna take a look and see what that looks like. This is what the coverage is doing. Right over here. Okay. So we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons. The cons, I really don't have any cons except for the fact that there is some transfer um, and you can feel it on your fingertips when you touch your face. The rest of this is gonna be straight pros. So the coverage, I absolutely love the coverage and it gives your skin like a, a flawless finish like a porcelain type of deal if that makes sense uh, I am getting just a little bit of shine right up and through this area and right on my nose but I'm okay with a little shine because I'm at an age where I can't do the cake face like that so I have to leave that for my uh, 40 and under girls um, what else can I say about this foundation? The the color match, I, I can't complain about that. As you can see here, I really can't complain too much about the about the color match. As you can see here, looks really, really good, right? Now, so the foundation is definitely a go. It's worth every dollar that they're charging us for this makeup it's there okay so don't even think twice if you have been contemplating if you've been on the fence about whether to get this foundation or not and don't even worry about it so let's talk about the concealer shall we so the age rewind this is my first time ever trying this concealer and as i mentioned before i am on the mature side this feel like something on my lips guys sorry as this is real this is gonna get okay um but this was my first time using that concealer and 
just from the word go, I was in love because I like the applicator. Let's revisit that. So this is the applicator. Very nice. I absolutely love this. This is how much product you get. You get uh, 6.0 milliliters of product in here. And what they did do was expand the, the color range, which I absolutely appreciate that from any makeup company. As you guys know, that's been a real struggle for us. Um, I'm trying to see without my glasses what color I picked up. I picked up caramel. So I use this for my under eye and it did a wonderful job. I cannot, there, I don't have any, I don't have any cons until I take a look at the playback and see, you know, if there was any creasing or anything like that. But just looking with my bad eyesight, <laughs> it looks good. And it blended very well. I didn't use a beauty blender. This is just a, um, this is a beauty blend or a sponge that I picked up from TJ Maxx on one of my shopping trips. So I think this may have been like $4.99 or something like that, but it worked absolutely wonderful with the concealer. It blended everything nicely. Um, I didn't have to, oh, that's another thing. I didn't have to hurry with this product. Now, I didn't let it sit, of course, to, to really find out if I was gonna have to struggle with getting it to blend out because again, my age I have to consider everything okay so all I did was go in you guys saw I just went in I've done no touch-ups I don't take my makeup to work with me it it is it's gonna do what to do if if I get shiny I'm just shiny for the rest of the time that I'm at work girl girl I did not did not okay you see the words did not touch up one bit only thing that i had to continue to reapply was my lip beat. that's it i even had to reapply that when before i came on, on camera again but absolutely have no complaints whatsoever so both of these products go get it run <laughs> run and go get it because this is awesome both of these products both of these products are awesome you guys already know how i feel about maybelline fit me poreless okay so if you guys if you guys have not gotten this any of these go get them because you won't be disappointed in either of these products. Maybelline, I send a warm, heartfelt thank you to you for listening to us. And with that being said, this is the end of the video, guys. I thank you so much for watching my videos, supporting me and loving me through everything. And until next time, I will see you in the next video, and you already know, hey girl, hey, you better stay fancy. See you guys.